At long last. I waited as long as I could. I had to start without you. What are you doing? Finding inner peace. Without clothes? Oh, Vicky. Anything worth finding is worth finding naked. Clothes are so bourgeois. Let me show you. You should let me liberate you of your traditional Yankee values. Watch the thorns. Charlie, you don't have to be nice to me. I know, but hey, it's free, so why not? Hey, thanks, Aunt Dorian. And that'll go well in my big book of blackmail. Yeah, your buddy already told me where Hannah O'Connor is. She's at the hospital visiting Ford. Yes, I would like you to stay on her. Because the sooner I get something on her, the sooner I get her out of my life and my daughter's. Daddy's not here right now, but he will be soon, okay? He's a little mad at Mommy, but I'm gonna fix it, all right? I promise. Excuse me, only family is allowed to visit. That works. I'm Robert's brother, James Ford. What are you asking me? Did you try to kill Ford? And did you try to kill me? I don't understand. Are you asking me if I'm a murderer? I didn't try to kill Ford. I'm innocent. But the police said... The police are wrong. I did it. I'm the one who tried to kill Ford. Marco's innocent, it was me. I'm guilty, so I'm turning myself in. We've been trying to locate Mr. Ford's family since he was admitted. Yeah, I've been out of touch. So how's Bobby doing? He took a blow to the head. Surgery relieved the swelling. Well, that's good though, right? It is. However, your brother has yet to regain consciousness. Well, wait, is there any brain damage? We won't know until he wakes up. Well, how much longer? At this point, we have no way of knowing. I can't believe the things that you're accusing me of. I know, I know of. how this must sound, but honey, I'm just trying to help. You've been a good friend to my son, Cole, and I'm worried about you. You're worried about me? You were coming to me for therapy the night that I was pushed down those stairs. That's what you said, didn't you? Yes, I and, was. And I, I understand Ford did some despicable things to you. And I know what that can do to a person, how angry it can make you. You think I was angry enough to try to kill him? And what does that even have to do with what happened to you, Dr. Saybrook? Why would I want to hurt you when I was coming to you for help? Because people don't always respond in the well, logical... Who put that idea in your head? Mmm, snack. Hey, Sam. Hey. <laughs> Hi, cutie. You remember me, Aunt Danny? Oh, of course she remembers you. Where are you headed? Look, <laughs> see, she even wants you. <laughs> Where are you headed? Oh, I thought I'd cool off. Need to go to the pool or something. You gonna meet up with Matthew? Actually, we broke up. You what? Yeah, just, you know, figured I could use some alone time. Okay, no, you need girl talk time. Stay with us. Okay, but only if you promise to cheer me up. Tell me things are better with you and Cole. Looks like we're gonna need to find something else to talk about. I can't believe how messed up this is. You don't believe me, do you? You think your own son tried to kill someone? No, Gerardo. We know you're not capable of something like this. No? Why do you both look so afraid? Marco! Just calm down for a second. How can I? Man, I need my parents on my side. We are on your side, Gerardo. It's Marco! How many times do I have to say it? Marco, we're worried. The police say they have evidence. It has to be a mistake. Marco could never have hurt that man. And what the police found in the apartment, the footprint with his blood, it can't be our sons. No. It is. Are you taking me to the cell? You're going home. But... I just told you I did Not it. Not another word. I can't talk to you like this. I'm an adult. You need to have a lawyer present. A lawyer's just going to get in the way. I'm here to confess. Are you saying you're waiving your right to counsel? Yes. I can't live with this anymore. I can't let Marco be punished for something that I did. Please, I need to confess. All right. Tell me everything you know. We're talking about a repeat offender. I can't believe I caught you kissing again, Aunt Dorian. 
We weren't kissing. Yeah, no, no, we, we definitely weren't, Jack. What you saw is not what it looked like. Looked like it was getting hot and heavy in here to me. Excuse me. Uh, you would not know hot and heavy if it hit you on the head, and that's what I am going to do if you don't desist from prying on my private life. If you want a privacy, you should have gotten a room. Jack, that's enough. Give me the camera. What do I get for it? Get, you think I'm going to give you something for that? Hand it over. This is a negotiation. My dad taught me how. Rule number one, deal from strength. I'm strong and you're weak. So let's start the bidding at a dirt bike. Oh, is this a negotiation? OK, how about rule number two? You mess with your Aunt Dorian, and she is going to mess with you. Rule number 15. Use the power of competition. Jack, if your aunt won't play ball, I will. David, for heaven's sakes, put some clothes on. Yeah. Lois is here. You don't have to remind me. She's been sneaking peeps all morning. Has that woman had a date in a decade? You know what I ought to do? I should charge her 20 bucks a peep, double what I'm doing Tai Chi. I'll tell you something, Vicky. You and I, go into business, we could make a mint. While I admit that your visits are so entertaining, I do actually have work to do. Don't you? <laughs> oh, Vicky, I forgot your sense of humor. Work. Why work when we can loaf? David, is there something I can do for you? Vicky, there's always something you can do for me. <clears throat> do you need a place to live again? Oh, no, I'm actually all set on that front. Really? Oh, good. Um, staying with Dorian, I assume. Hmm? No, I'm crashing with my little bro. At least while Ma and Pa are out honeymooning. And yet you saw fit to come here and grace me with your form. Well, that. And to help you get back at Charlie and Dorian, of course. And why would I need to do that? Oh, boy. Have you not seen the sun? Todd, I should have known you were behind Jack's tabloid inclinations. Wait till Blair hears about this. Oh, are you going to tell on me? I'm the one she wants to rat out. That won't matter. She thinks this is all very funny. It's not going to matter, is it? Because soon you're going to be punished for what you did to Marty Saybrook, and you'll be in prison, deep in the recesses of Statesville. My dad's innocent! If you don't want to follow in your dad's footsteps, I suggest you learn that there are a few little things called rules. All civilized societies have them. And in this house, rule number one is no blackmail allowed. But you kissing Uncle Charlie is cool. I just want to make sure. God, I hope you didn't do that for your sake. You know, I don't remember hearing Dorian invite you into her home. Oh, no, she didn't. And I usually stay where I'm not wanted, but you and I have a big day together, right? All right, let's do it. So what do you think I should ask for in change of the picture? Pretty good, huh? The lighting was perfect. Hey, you deleted it. Yeah. Yeah, I did. You get an A for initiative, but an F for risk-taking. What? <clears throat> You're a little young to be mixing it up with Dorian. She'll eat you alive. I just hate that that sociopath is running around loose, able to influence my nephew. There ought to be a law. Look, Dorian, what they did is not important. I'm a little more concerned about what you almost did to me.